Hello friends, welcome back to a new episode of Beating Grandmaster with Stupid Stuff. And today we have a very special challenge. I made it up myself. We're going to go for High Templar Harass. And now usually High Templar Harass is already kind of considered stupid stuff. But I decided to up it a level. I am going to try every single game to kill five workers by dropping Templar without using Storm. And I did some research. I didn't actually know what the damage of a High Templar was, but... The auto attack of the High Templar has 4 damage, which means if I get plus 1 and then do a Templar drop, I can 2-shot workers, or 2-volley workers, I should say, because they deal, uh, except against SCVs, I guess. Let's just hope I don't get any Terrans, because then I'd need a Prism with 5 Templar, and that's not possible. Or maybe I need to wait until I get plus 2, and then I can start doing these drops. Anyway, um, yeah, let's just get into the game here, as my first opponent is going to be... Strange, a Protoss player who is pretty darn good. I am not entirely sure what the best way for me to go about it is, especially in this matchup. In PvZ, I kind of had a, a plan. I could just open up with a standard, or well, a standard. I could just open up with an Archon drop from a Templar Archives. It isn't standard, but it also is, you know, non-standard. So it would be playable. But here, in order to, to go for a, a four Templar drop with plus one, that is a massive investment of a crap ton of gas that I can't really spare in the early game. At least, I don't think I can. So, I'm just not quite sure how this is going to happen. On top of that, there's also the possibility of my opponent having Blink or a Stargate opener. And when that happens, life as I currently know it is just straight up going to end. Which would suck, because I like life as I know it. Um, I... I think I need to open up with some Adepts, by the way, and then kind of take it from there. Adepts are a gas-saving type of unit, Ooh. but my opponent, talking about gas-saving, is uh, well either not building any tech whatsoever or is hiding the tech on the map, and well, out of these two options, I do believe that hiding the tech is the more likely one. Otherwise, he also would have been supply blocked for about 18 seconds here. If Chrono on the warp gate, oh, this is something weird, isn't it? I'm going to just rush out a robotics facility. I have a belief, based on my experience as a StarCraft 2 player, that this is going to be a proxy third gate. And I'm going to respond to that. I hope he cancels this. I'm going to respond to that. No, he didn't cancel it. I'm going to respond to that third time I start this sentence by building a quick immortal. But first, I'll need to check and make sure that nothing weird is going on here, like a nexus. Just going to hide this bad boy. Okay, we don't see anything yet. This actually, in some weird and twisted way, might be somewhat okay. And that sounds stupid, but I think it might actually be correct. Twilight Council. Okay, uh, is this one base blink? What is happening here? I'm, I'm, I'm a little puzzled right now. Um, we're going to expand. I do believe there's some type of proxy now. Is this Oracle into four stalkers? That seems extremely unlikely. But it is a possibility that I kind of need to keep in mind. So we're getting a lot of tech right now. And that is not because I think this is going to help me survive. But because I need these two tech structures eventually anyway. Right? I'm going to... At some point in this game, I'm going to need a Templar Archives. And at some point in this game, I'm going to also require uh, a robotics facility for that prism. So, I'm going to open up with Charge. That will allow me to start saving gas very early on in the game. And I, I think the only point... Oh my god, if he gets a battery, then I don't even think I can do it, can I? Yeah, this entire plan is so bad, it actually hurts my head. It, it actually hurts my head. Just having to think about how this is going to work. I just... Usually I see a path to victory, you know? But here... Like, if I could look into my different futures... I just see different types of losses. So I'm going to, within this defense... Try to get my setup going as much as possible. So I'm already getting a prism as well. And it somewhat serves a purpose of picking up units... That are being assaulted by my opponent. So it's not like a completely useless thing to build. I'm also going to send these two adepts around because it allows me to harass, which is also, in my opinion, quite useful. I'm getting plus one because I'm going to need plus one in order to two volley the workers. I'm just, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not really feeling it, honestly. I'm really not feeling it. Yes. 
He should have noticed at least a little bit what's going on here. The fact that the two adapts were gone is kind of suspicious. Killing a lot of workers right now is actually good because it puts me ahead. And when you're ahead, you can get away with more stupid stuff. This is one of the many rules that I've learned over the years of playing beating Grandmaster with stupid stuff. If you kill 15 workers with two adapts, it becomes a lot easier to waste 600... Oh my... What? How was that not a kill? Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. I wish you could feed back batteries. You used to be capable of doing that. People might not remember, but... Pepperidge Farm remembers. You know, I never actually watched that commercial. I think it's a commercial. I just know it as a meme. On like Reddit and 9gag. I used to uh, browse a lot of 9gag when I was younger. I was like in high school. That really was like the, the main website that I visited. I'd come home and open up 9gag to look at some fresh memes. I visited 9gag the other day and it really went down the crapper. Like in a big, big way. It never was brilliant to begin with, but I mean, what it has turned into is, is so many ads and the memes are even worse than before. It's also sometimes difficult to figure out whether your sense of humor has changed or if the sense of humor of the people now has changed. Like, was I always an idiot that liked bad jokes? That's basically the question that I have to ask myself continuously. Like, did I always like bad jokes when I was like 15? What are you doing? Or um, I almost turned them into an arc on there that would have been highly expensive and also kind of stupid. I can't remember where I was with my sentence, but we'll finish it another day, I'm sure. Maybe in the next video. I'll remember where I was. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay, so he had some type of vision there. Are we ready? Five worker kills. That was the goal. Once I get that, I'm good. Like, I still need to win the game, but... This uh, is, is the minimum. So we're, we're going to make a move here. We're going to fight this, because then... That's one. That's two. I think that was two at least. That definitely did look like two. Okay, so we got two already here. I'm pretty sure that was two. I'm going to check in the replay just to be sure. I don't want to cheat everyone. I thought I already built a new uh, observer. And I also thought I already started my plus two. But I guess gas is kind of scarce when you invest 600 in four Templar. It's not great. Right now, my opponent is also aware that he's going to be made content if he loses. And this will... It usually lights a fire under people. Also, he's going to be made content if he wins as well. So this is really a case of life or death. I know that some of my friends do not like being made content, especially when they lose to me hiding all my tech around the map or opening up with 17 different buildings and then not using any of them. They're not huge fans of it. I haven't gotten any official complaints yet, but you know the way that they talk about it... Sometimes I have this feeling that they're not too happy losing 35 MMR to me, you know, recalling into their main base with a mothership. It's just a feeling that I get you know, when I converse with, many, with one of my many friends. Okay, wait. I, I need to actually get some info on the... Ooh, this is good info. I was an observer there the entire time. <coughs> ooh, disruptors. That's kind of cool. And the reason that is kind of cool... Uh, I just don't think I can do it. Oh, but maybe if he blinks back up. Oh, there's a, a thing there. I'm just going to recall this. Is there no third base here or what? I need a third base. I can't... If there's three stalkers there, life just becomes so darn difficult, honestly. Okay. So this is a good flank. It does give me some life. I have to admit, okay. He's moving towards the, the more left side now. So this is going to be used as my flank in that case. I hope he never figures out where my observer is. Because without an observer, I'm actually uber dead. That was a nice one. For me, lol.
we win. Yeah, but we don't, though, do we? My goal was to get five kills. And I think I got two total. So there's one on this. Let's just go back to the moment here. The triple stalkers with blink are too hard to deal with. Okay, so here we kill one. And then we kill... Oh no, he got healed by a battery. I thought I got him. So I got one kill. This was completely pointless. Yeah, this actually was kind of bad. I I win the game, but mentally I'm a loser. And that's really the only thing that matters in life very often. 21 points in the pocket, but they don't feel right. You know, it, it just doesn't feel correct. It's like finding a bag at the station with $500,000 in it. You'll feel good because you got a lot of money, but you'll always be looking over your shoulder, afraid of the person who the bag truly belonged to will come and find you and end you. And I'm afraid the same here, you know? If I claim this as a win, next time I go to an event, someone will come up to me and tell me, didn't count! You know, just scream at me. So I'm not gonna claim this as a win. This was a loss, despite me getting the points. Blizzard was mistaken. The second game, we're going to try hard and we're going to win with five worker kills. I can feel it. All right, here we are in a second game and it is kind of the nightmare scenario, so I'm playing against a Terran. And it's going to be on Curious Mind of all maps that could have been done. And kind of sad that it's this one. However, Terran players usually have worse map vision and reaction time than the average Zerg player and the average Protoss player. So that might be helpful. Um, I don't think there's any point in rushing out plus one. So I'm just going to go for a standard block. I'm just going to go for... A, a four templar drop i think in the early game and maybe even just very quickly go into storm i i think it might not be a bad idea i took to play it out like that i also could cheat a little bit and i'm actually kind of considering that right now in that i will damage the scv with like three stalkers and then i do the final shots with a templar I think that is something that is possible and I should keep in mind as well. Like if it's absolutely impossible to kill any workers whatsoever this way, then I might have to resort to, the, to, to those type of strategies. It's you know still within my own rules, but it feels wrong and I want to do what's right. I, I don't just want to win with, with an average build. That sounds boring. No, I want to win doing what's right. That's what I'm here for. Okay, second gas, we'll take it. You scout pretty late. The reason for that is because I was busy speaking and I forgot to scout. But as I usually say, scouting is for losers anyway. Information is for people that can interpret it. And I'm not going to interpret the info anyway. Just want to know if the first unit is a Reaper or a Marine. This looks like a Reaper. I know Nico Rakt is very fond of opening up with a Reaper into a reactor and then going for some type of 1-1-1 push. So... We need to kind of keep an eye on that. Okay, I'm just going to check if there's indeed one of these uh, these buildings there. One of them, uh, what you call them? One of them reactors. Or if it's going to be a marine. It's going to be a marine after that first reaper. So it is a reaper into marine. Uh, classic build order here. Very cool. Where are you shooting at? Oh, this bad boy. Good reaper control, but not the greatest. That's completely fine i'm going to flame him for that i will play two base i think i realized you know what yeah two base in my mind actually makes a lot of sense i mean doesn't it if i if i just stay on two base how can i die and then i'll play two base templar drop and i'll quickly go into like two base i'll still get storm i just won't use it on the workers i think this actually is a quite quite a good plan because it allows me to be somewhat safe in case I get attacked. But at the same time, it also allows me to deal a lot of damage on the other side of the map with my four or three Templar and a Prism. It might be better to just do three now. Because I can... Oh no, then I still need plus one actually. Never mind. If I have three Templar and a Prism and plus one, I can three volley them. So that would save me some gas actually. I'm not sure, you know, if that is worth it or if that is not worth it or... You know, what we're actually looking at. He's going to be taking two extra gases right now. That's all I do know. And I want the battery. Because I'm extremely afraid of what's about to happen to me. 
open up with a with an observer like i don't have to rush into it either it, that is maybe a, a misconception that i sometimes have is that i always feel like i need to do it asap but i can do this over the course of a game and hopefully we'll make it happen maybe i even want okay i said i wanted a battery though that's the one thing i do know for sure get like a little stalker here the stalker yeah. Another pylon in this area, so I know it's not very efficient, my build order. Well, when I say not very efficient, it's not efficient whatsoever. But it is a build order, and perhaps that is the thing that matters most. I want to get Storm. Do I want to get Storm yet? No, let's just start with plus one, actually. And then get two Templar out. He's actually going in, huh? One more Stalker as well, another pylon up here. I'm just going to continue my worker production. He's probably kind of afraid of stuff happening as well. I have to, have to give it to him. I'd also be quite afraid, honestly. Oh, crap. Can I, can I research Storm in time, actually? Why would he attack? He should not be attacking me right now, should he? I don't think attacking me is the correct call at all. Okay, one battery behind this. Another stalker as well. I wonder if he's gonna move up this ramp or not. Okay, it's really important. He doesn't get in here. So. Here we can kill the Reaper. I do get to kill the Reaper. Um, I probably need to cancel at least one of them now. Yeah, I'll cancel one. Charge as well. Fourth one in here. On this bad boy. Oh, my opponent is so confused right now. My opponent is so darn confused right now. Let me tell you that much. Oh, he's no clue what's going on. Neither do I, though. So we do share something. We have something definitely in common there. Checking this base either. Watch me fly straight into a uh, widow mine, like a double widow mine setup or something like that. That would actually be hilarious, but more like the crying type of hilarious rather than the laughing type of hilarious. That's one. That's going to be two. At least I don't want to lose those. Two kills to start with. It's not bad. And I can storm units, of course. Oh my god, it takes so long to kill one of these dudes. That is so ridiculously crazy. No, I flew it into the marines that went for... <sighs> okay, we got two, almost three. But the almost doesn't count. <laughs> it's still just two. And no matter how I will... You know, uh, what will happen from here on out? I still only have two at this point. Doesn't mean I can't get more. I'm gonna get another prism. Um, it actually has the priority for me. It's getting another prism. Can I get some vision here as well? Yeah, I can. Oh god, this is gonna go nowhere, is it? Did I start plus two? No, I started armor. I should have started plus two attack. Then I could have three volleyed. Or two volleyed. No. Yeah, then I probably could have two volleyed. Can is that how it works? God, I'm so bad at math when I'm doing five things at the same time. Okay, I'll need to defend this push, that's one. Oh my god. That's a hold. Isn't it? It's probably going to try to uh Try to drop or something at the same time. Big, very big storms. Don't leave. Please don't leave. No matter what you do, buddy, just don't leave. Kevin. Okay, here we go. Four in a prism. 
We want one Templar here, just for safety's sake, I guess. Do we have Blink on the way yet? No, I don't. I think that's also important to get soon. Okay, here we go. Come on! Oh my god. I can kill this. No, I can't. The healing is too strong. But maybe I can. Oh my god. The healing is literally just too strong. I actually cannot believe it. I actually cannot believe that this is happening to me. The healing of a single medevac out DPSs my Templar. You can't say I'm not trying. Well, you can say that, but you'd be lying. Because I'm trying my hardest. Like, I really am. What more can I do here? What is that? Classic. An absolute classic. Okay, I'm going to need to get everything back right now. Oh, he's actually coming for me or what? I am so afraid. I'm just so afraid. I just don't know what to do either. Okay, I'm going to send this thing around again. We're going to go towards the fort base, maybe. That is the play. Fort base is the play. Fort base is the play. Okay. Just let's stay calm. Fort base is the play. Yes, kill that. Very cool. Maybe I want uh, this one as well. Before Thermal Lens even. Probably is a bad move, but that's what I'm known for. Get the prism speed. That way I can fly away quickly if I really need to. Okay, here we go. Do you have a fort? There we go. That's three. That's four. Okay, one more. One more to finish it all. Come on, buddy. I'm gonna go to the fort again, that's for sure. I'm just gonna check with my hallucination if that uh, place is safe. Oh, look at it. You see that? There's Vikings coming there. I'm gonna attack those. I know where you're at. I need to kill those Vikings, you know that. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Gonna hide this one over here in the in the dead zone, what you call it? Hit it in the bushes. Where are you at, buddy? Okay. We only three of them in here, though. You go as well. You got it, buddy. I trust in you. Take out one of my zealots. I don't actually have enough disruptors to continuously stay alive. I think. Oh, look at this. How did he figure that out? I wonder if there's turrets in the main base or not. I hope not, actually. If there's turrets, that would really make life hard. I'm going to need to kill some of my own units at this point. Oh yeah, this is five. Five, let's go for six. That is six. Come here, buddy. I think that's seven. Hoppa! <laughs> yeah, yeah, now it's time to win the game. <gasps> oh, this is just beautiful stuff here. Oh, yeah. into this area. That's completely fine. Okay, I'm gonna own you, buddy. The time is officially here. Oh my god. I didn't even realize all my other stalkers were here as well. That was really cool. Oh. I'm gonna kill some more of my own units. That's for sure. Oh. Okay, let's see if we can take out some more. Now that we, now that we have it. Like, I can... Well, I still need to win the game. Don't forget that that actually was part of the requirements as well. So... Just killing this wasn't good enough, honestly. It really isn't. My charge. Our honor. Oh. Did manage to die there. We shall stand. You go here, buddy. So we just want to throw some disruptors right now. Oh, I don't have blink. Or well. Okay, now I do have blink. Maybe it literally just, just now finished. It is possible, of course, but also somewhere in my thing. Okay, 
Uh oh. Well, not the tightest engagement that I've ever had in my life, but so far so good, I guess. The Templar actually provide a lot of safety as well in like outside bases and stuff like that. People often underestimate how good that really is. Like having a Templar at like an outside base rather than just having cannons. Templar adds so, so much value there. It's crazy stuff. It actually is. Ooh, there we go. Oh, I thought I had a Templar here. I guess I accidentally recalled it or something. Yeah, whatever. We have a lot of these rules. Still need to win the game. It is very important that we actually do win the game. There's a lot of these bad boys, isn't there? Oh no no, I don't think I want to be in that circle actually. It's the circle of life. Da -da -da. Well, I say it's the circle of death. I think the opposite of the circle of life. The Lion King would not be happy with this. Why do they have so little units? Do they have too many workers or something? That's often the case. If you feel like your army sucks, often you just have too little units. Or too, ma too many workers. Oh, look, he's going to try and drop on top of me, or what? Oh. That didn't quite go according to plan there, did it? I think I can kill this, by the way. Come on, I'm still here to pick up my win, my good friend. It's the circle of life. Okay, it is beautiful. There's so many uh, of these bad boys right now, they can just kind of walk around it because there's no ground forces. This is something that very often happens against Terran. It's where the ground forces are so, so little, you can do moves like this even. Just kind of move in. Okay, maybe this was a mistake actually. But as long as you're not completely fighting in the super zones, it's okay-ish. See? You just kind of fight under them where they can't shoot you. It's like when you tickle a rhino on the back. Or, you know, when... Ah, GG! They can't really catch you once you tickle them on your back. They might, you know, try to throw you off, but they can't catch you. This was beautiful. I actually want to see how many I killed. I think it was seven. I think it was seven. I don't think I need to see it. I don't think... You guys need to see it either. We just trust on that it was seven. And thus we fulfilled our requirement minimum. The minimum requirement was five. I got seven. And I'm very happy. That's going to be it for today's episode of Beating Grandmaster with Stupid Stuff. Where I, th I really thought this one was going to be impossible. And one game I won while trying. And one game I won while succeeding. And that's the beauty of this. Thanks all so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this episode. Wrong scene. Wrong scene again. Here we go. Hope you all so much enjoyed this episode as much as I did. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. We're very close to 100k subscribers. And I would love to get that before Christmas. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.